Russian Magister SV automated air defense fire control system to start in 2021. Rostec State Corporation's Rus Electronics Holding has developed Magister SV automated air defense fire control system that cleared state tests recently. The company announced that serial production of the equipment will begin soon. The new unified module is designed for airspace reconnaissance using external and built-in reconnaissance and anti-aircraft combat coordination. The development passed state tests and was accepted for supplying the Russian Army. Rus Electronics Holding of the Rostec State Corporation announced that it will begin serial production of the Magister SV in 2021. Development and production of Magister SV Unified Modules is carried out by NPP Rubin of Rus Electronics Vega Concern. The complex includes a unique optoelectronic station with the functions of automatic detection, recognition, and tracking of air targets. To provide such technical capabilities, the developers needed to create a database of the optical characteristics of various air targets and the characteristics of the radiation of natural interference. A small-sized radar detector combines the capabilities of a surveillance radar and the high accuracy of coordinate measurement inherent in radar tracking systems. The software and technical solutions applied in Magistrat V make it possible to fight more effectively the existing and promising means of enemy air attack. During the development, the experience of the military operation of products from the Barnard T complex was taken into account. The unified module includes qualitatively new means of airspace reconnaissance that meet modern requirements for range and accuracy of detecting air targets. This is an optoelectronic station, a portable optoelectronic observation device, a small size radar detector and an electronic reconnaissance station, said Vyacheslav Mikheyev, general director of the Vega Concern. The architecture implemented in it is ahead of all currently known radar detection tools. When developing a unified control module, special attention was paid to increasing the secrecy and survivability of the air defense grouping. It is also possible to integrate a promising and existing anti-aircraft weapon into the air defense control subsystem, capable of fighting against attacking elements of high-precision weapons and multi-purpose unmanned aerial vehicles. The developers needed to create a database of the optical characteristics of various air targets and the characteristics of the radiation of natural interference.